Are these old people memes funny? Is there any truth to them or are they just outdated? Yeah, these are going viral right now on Facebook amongst the boomers. And these boomers. memes are against the Zoomers, Gen Z versus the old people. Let's talk about whether we think these are true, whether they're false, give our rating on them. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, Andrew. I guarantee you, if you're watching this video right now, you have probably never seen these memes before. I came across a trove of them. Obviously, I found the ones that I could actually put on here. Andrew, let's go into number one. Someone was like, man, these Gen Z kids, this is what they call actual coffee. Yeah, look at this pumpkin spice chai mocha Maca Macalito, man, <laughs> disgusting. So many calories, useless, superfluous, <laughs> soft, just like this soft Gen Z generation is compared to our generation that was just drinking drink black coffee or espresso with water. I'm so sick of it. I like my sea salt caramel sweet cream on top of my oat milk latte. I with the dirty matcha <laughs> shot. I like right. him. I do like him, but I also like my black coffee yeah, too. Yeah, I, I will like say both. this. I like multi-layered superfluous drinks, but I would say this meme, it does make a point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It you seems listen. like every year Starbucks or every boba shop that the next drink they have is going to have like seven more layers on it. Gosh darn it. These drinks are just getting less and less productive. Uh, I give this uh, meme, I, I rate it high like a four out of five. It's pretty funny. Dude, I might have to give this one a five out of five. Because it just made a solid yep. point. Although, I, I guess to go against this meme, I like this crazy drinks. But it also can't apply to Asian boba drinks too. But honestly, we'll get to it later, Andrew. I think they're actually trying to say a lot larger message about the younger generation in general. Of course. Moving on, Andrew. Meme number two from the boomers. We've got this one that's like, I don't have enough money to buy my student loans, to pay my student loans or buy a house. This kid's got like a Karl Marx bucket hat on. He's got the plugs. He got the cow septum piercing. Obviously, they drew him in sort of a non-complimentary way. Andrew, this guy's buying DoorDash, booze, weed, body art, streaming, OnlyFans, Funko pops all types of crazy useless things but he's complaining about prices and inflation or whatever yeah you see that's why because you guys are spending all your money all the wrong ways i know this meme was made by a boomer or a gen x because they called alcohol booze <laughs> If you're still calling it booze, honestly, I, it might have been made by like a 45, 55 year old guy that was looking at the consumption pattern of either his kids or his nephews no. and nieces. No, legit. Um, I think that a, the consumption patterns are crazy. I think people are consuming more and more than they ever have. I also think there's more things to consume. I think there's more subscriptions that you can be a, a part of. But here's my one advice, guys. Just make it worth it. Just utilize it. Do not right. waste money on these things. If you're actually using it and you're getting utility out of it. You know what it is. Yeah, I don't know. If you're buying assets, that's why I would prefer something that I know has like hard asset value that fluctuates, that is more like stocks. Obviously, sneakers, Andrew, we know rare sneakers fluctuate more like stocks. Somebody tell me if Funko Pops is like that because I'm not big on those. Um, I get, I, on, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and give this one, honestly, a four out of five. It was pretty It funny. was pretty solid. There's some accuracy to it. Um, moving on. Uh, this one's like jobs in the past, blacksmith, porter, carpenter, royal guard. Now you're just like a YouTuber, streamer, psychopath, suicide bomber. You can't even describe your job in three words nowadays. I'm a SAAS based fintech sales uh, analyst. What happened at real jobs? Like I catch fish. All right. So the first meme did make me laugh. I got on the laughing scale. I got to give it like... I thought it was pretty funny, five out of five, because it included YouTuber, and we're YouTubers. However, this whole, like, discussion and argument about, oh, man, what about the jobs? Why can't all the jobs just be blue-collar jobs? I'm like, wait, so you want us to, like, delete all the technology we right. ever made? Right. Like, the I don't jobs have, before like, being, a, like, before the previous generation, they were even more blue-collar than before. Yeah, what, you want to be a coal miner? Should we all be coal miners because that's real work? Like, you know what I'm saying? I get it. That, yes, if you're trying to make a point that the next generation is a bunch of sissies or we're soft bodies and we like our sweet macchiatos, what, I get that joke. But I'm just saying, like, we're not going back in time. Back in my day, people used to fall off a building, building, buildings. Nowadays, they're just getting the arthritis and dry eyes from looking at the screens all day. The wake. And I think that that is an overarched perspective, obviously, that the boomers have about the Zoomers. Moving on to... Boomer technology, Andrew. Someone's like, I would like to put a teenager in this room and tell him at a half past, find the game on AM and turn on channel 27. Call me when you're done, then I'll just watch and laugh because they would not be able to figure out this TV. You know, look at this. The glory days, 1963 technology. Um, you know, and there was one about uh, driving stick and writing cursive. It would cripple an entire generation. I used to eat mud when I was three. Now on all these iPad, iFad, I'm mad. Um, 
What do you think? No, I think this is just a response to somebody being like, Grandpa, you don't know how to use your iPhone? And then the grandpa's like, oh, I, what do you, how do we slide it? Oh, where'd my window go? You know, right. where everybody's just like, man, go back to those knobs and dials and wires and stuff. I'm like, again, technology, we're not going backwards. I know mentally, I think we can criticize each other if the mental did not change as fast as the technology did i get that but all this stuff ultimately i I give it a one out of five but do you think andrew with the ipads and stuff like that people have gotten smarter or people have not i think technology has moved way faster than our brains have developed i know a lot of people say that nowadays i do agree i don't think and i don't know if the average person is way smarter or better at discerning what is fake and misinformation i got a hot take I what? think the mid people stayed mid. The dumb people got dumber and the smart people got smarter. Yeah, maybe it's more stratified. Uh, moving on to the next boomer meme section. We've got uh, ones about Wi-Fi. Of course, these are these are great. The Wi-Fi, uh, as they like to call it in France. Um, Andrew, we're talking about dear parents. If you want to find out where your son, daughter is in the house, simply just turn off the Wi-Fi and just watch them start going, Mom, Mom, reset the router. <laughs> I definitely, and this other meme about we do not have Wi-Fi, just talk to each other like it was 1995. I think it's true. I think that we do need to make a concerted effort to interact with each other in person more. I think the conversations are better. We always said that a lot of the hard conversations we have on this channel need to happen amongst friends in person. The comment section will not solve it. So do not base your life and your emotions on the comment section, please. You can laugh at comments. They're funny. Or interesting, but do not base your life and, on And it. it's very difficult to communicate tone over comments as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, what about what do you think about this one? That's like, if you can afford a $60,000 electric car, then you can afford to pay your student loan payments. And uh, obviously, most of these memes are made by somebody that's over 50, but I actually think millennials might agree with this as well because millennials, people that were like 30 and up, they for sure had to pay all their loans. And now they're looking at people, p- potential loan forgiveness for people under 25, and they're like, Dude, what? So you guys can just go to college and not have to pay for it? What the heck? Yeah. Well, I, I guess uh, this generation lucked out. Yeah. You know? I would say, Andrew, it kind of goes back to the DoorDash example. The, the, the ability for somebody to like lease a $60,000 car and have student loans, I don't think that ability existed 10, 20, 30 years ago. And nowadays, because of the credit system and maybe looser regulations here and there, so who's to blame, Andrew? The opportunities are there. But by the way, like you said, I think it's an extreme example. What do you think about the Greta Thunberg memes? Oh, man. Um... Yeah, obviously, this is just making a judgment on, like, Dr. Judith Curry. She's actually a climatologist. She did all this work, but she never gets her voice. She never gets interviewed. Yeah, because she's come? old. What's wrong with Judith Curry, man? She's just saying the earth's moving how it's moving. Mother Nature's going to do what it does. Now we got Greta Thunberg telling me I can't even use my gas stove because it's killing all the birds in Madagascar. I hate Greta Thunberg. Well, they're also talking about, like, the left side media bias and all of this. Um... No, I mean, first of all, whether or not the earth is heating up because of this and that, I mean, we just probably need to to litter less. I mean, I think that's pretty common sense, you know. We could do a little bit better on on that aspect. But yeah, it's a media bias because Greta Thunberg, I mean, really, what qualifications does she have other than being like this charismatic young, we must stop climate change yeah to be honest i mean the truth is like sometimes in the middle right i think there's a lot of things that contribute to it the natural cycles but as well as man-made cycles and it just depends on extent i just don't like how polarized it is but you know that's how the meme life is and if everything that's boomer versus zoomer moving on andrew this meme was actually made by a millennial i believe somebody who's like in their 30s they were like yo this generation of kids will never know this pain we really was outside 24 7 no it's true man do you think it's true andrew are the kids just you know, protected by the rubber mats and the polyurethane nowadays. They're not out there scraping up their legs, developing all types of, you know, tolerances in their bloodstreams to be strong, getting the white blood cells. I think there's definitely less skid knees. I remember walking home. We had all these scars on the body, scars on the hands and the wrist from playing basketball and dunking on the short rims. Um... No, I definitely think kids are getting out there less, but I do think kids are staying active in a way a lot more too, but like more in controlled environments, like maybe like gyms more, or they're like doing certain, I don't know, organized activities more versus just roaming the streets. But what do you think? That nowadays they're just living this macchiato lifestyle with 12 layers. It's so soft and fancy and fluffy, making them weak. Yeah, but I also think like the way we grew up and like, 
riding on the back of the bike pegs. Talking about the sand lot, the hoop yeah. dreams lifestyle. Down a like hill me. where you could have potentially got hit by cars. I think that kind of stuff is just like, the world is just getting different. So like the people, the kids who are getting raised now are are being raised and, and trained for a new world that maybe we don't even fully understand, you know? Right. I don't Moving know. on, Andrew. This one was like, uh, we need to let children be whatever they want to be. Well, what if they want to be conservative? <laughs> Um, yeah, this is a, <laughs> certainly a perspective from the older generation, right? I mean, I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5 just because it, like, it pointed out something that was like interesting. By the I, way, not saying I agree with this. I thought it was a simple meme. I, I give it a 4 out of 5. I thought it was funny. I thought it made its point very quickly. Okay. Right. Um, this says a uh, Chinese kid on Christmas getting the same toy he made five hours ago. Dude. That's funny, man. That Asian kid's face, man. Who made this meme? Were they Asian or not? Hmm? Yeah, I need to know. But yeah, actually, it was, uh, you know, I can have a sense of humor about myself, guys. It was funny, ultimately. Uh. If, if it makes you chuckle, it's funny, okay? Um, moving on, someone said, Mom, what's a conspiracy theorist? Somebody who figures out the truth before most people, dear. And obviously, this drawing is from, I want to say, like, maybe 1942 or something like that. Yeah, 50s for sure, 60s. I would say, man, honestly, not all conspiracy theories are true, man. Like, there's some truth in maybe some of them because there's more than what meets the eyes. There's more than what we're told for sure. But ultimately, guys, a lot of these conspiracy theories don't even, like concern you. Dude, so, a lot of I, the biggest conspiracy theories, in my opinion, are just like things that people have just been conditioned to accept. I mean, you know what's funny is that a lot of people who go against organized religion, they're like big conspiracy theorists, but then conspiracy theories become their religion. So I'm like, I don't know. You just start believing in some stuff that's like you in, in another sense doesn't have a lot of evidence either. You know what I mean? So it's just like everybody's just trying to find something that consumes their brain. Uh, moving on. Somebody was like, uh, I'd like a burger. Is vegan okay? Is Monopoly money okay? This was clearly made by somebody who was like 62 years old from, you know, <laughs> from an old school zone. I mean, obviously they're calling the Beyond Beef and the Impossible Burger like fake meat in the same way Monopoly Yo, money is. I, fake guys, money. have you had some good vegan burgers? They're yeah. pretty good. Shout out to Plant Burgers, they're man. They're pretty not good me. now. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a two out of five, even though it kind of made me laugh, like almost in a reverse way. Somebody said, Andrew, spend some time with your elders. Not everything's found on Google. Okay, man. Look, you only got one book in your brain. Look at this old guy with his cane. He got 15 books in his brain. No, I will agree that talking to smart and successful elderly people is always interesting and you'll always get a new perspective. You will learn some things. Now, I do think not all old people should give you advice on everything, but maybe the things that they are more experienced than you at. Yeah, let's say an unsuccessful old person ask him about the weather ask him about sports <laughs> somebody who was actually successful and did a bunch of things in their life maybe ask him about deeper more complicated things you know and definitely do not ask all old people about race relations <laughs> <laughs> well you already yeah yeah you already know uh moving on rich dad poor dad meme andrew um yeah i would say that this one's actually more of like almost like a millennial maybe 40 year old gen x meme about like just owning your own business i would say actually the gen z version of this is a whole nother little crypto kid mm. with like you know dressing crazy wearing streetwear um and what do you think about this moms now versus moms then one versus like say that again and i'll wash out your soap your mouth with soap billy versus like that billy can you just not say that word it's inappropriate more appeasement from the modern mom and more old school uh, tough love from the old school mom oh, is it true is it false what is it hold on this bottom one is pretty funny i pack your bento box with almond butter on whole grain kale chips and organic smoothie Take a brown bag with a bologna sandwich on the Wonder Bread. Grab a Twinkie and a Hawaiian Punch, too. Uh, that's pretty funny because... Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, if I, you're going to compare, like, a blue-collar mom from, like, 1982 Midwest to, like, a Bay Area mom in, like, 2020, yeah, I guess I could see where this is coming from. But it's a little bit like, uh, yeah, I mean, there was bad kids hey, back then, too, to hey, be honest. I still eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Is yeah. this not true? I actually like uh, the, was it Lunchables? Yeah. Those are well, good I, we, I still buy those sometimes. However, I will say, I do use almond butter in my peanut yeah. butter and jelly sandwich. I would say this, man. It's like, to me, it's pros and cons. Like the younger generation, maybe they are living a more macchiato, kale, organic, quinoa lifestyle, but they're definitely less problematic in other ways than the kids from the 80s or, not, uh, 80s or 70s were problematic. You know, so it's just pros and cons. You're I, just like trading off 
different pros and cons from different generations. Yeah, I, I do think as the pendulum swings uh, very far in this direction, there will be a little bit of a pullback and a little bit of a balance more. And there's always been a spectrum, but it's just about where the bulk distribution is on the go, uh, on the plot hey, chart. Real curve. quick, I want to address this like Greek meme one, 22-year-old in 320 BC. I've conquered half the world and I am ready to choose my wives. 22-year-old in 2022. If she leaves me on scene i'll get depressed right it's funny but guys back then people used to live until the age of 40 and it was very like nobody had anything there was no technology and nothing and women had no rights back then so it's like, you're not a man if you are not embracing the stoicness of marcus aurelius uh, and the gladiators so this does tie into the last meme we live in a strange time where all the nerds watch billion dollar disney movies and the jocks read obscure philosophic texts from ancient and medieval area right eras. this would be a like I guess a pop culture Marvel geek versus like more I guess probably what in modern day would be viewed as like the Jordan Peterson sphere right yeah no I, I mean I think that the whole conversation about men like learning like the traditional men qualities I don't think that's bad as long as it's like kept in a in a you know in like a, a modern way I guess you know like I think you should read both. Obviously, those texts are still around and still relevant, especially in the Western world and in the modern world. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Technology is just changing. Basically, uh, memes are extreme. So obviously being extreme all the way this side towards the Marvel geek guy or being like hyper extreme to the other side where you're just thinking everything's like back to Aristotle and Plato, it's all going to seem like a little bit... Uh, outdated in modern day application because modern society is a mix of those things. Anyway, guys, let's get into our final takeaways, Andrew. Is it just true that the boomers just like their world that they grew up in more than the Zoomer world? Yeah, I, I think that the boomers feel like and the and the Gen X feel like that they're not being appreciated and everybody's crapping on them and their lifestyle and all their beliefs saying, oh, you're closed-minded, you're outdated, you're a whack. You you're guys, ignorant racist, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you guys set it up for us. You guys bought all the real estate, blah, 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 or whatever. I don't even know what the arguments are. Polluted nowadays. the earth, etc. Yeah, but uh, I think every generation has its gripes about every other generation, but given the, the, the tools of media now everybody can create and talk about and voice their displease mint their displeasure with the other generation yeah with these like sort of weird graphic memes uh, moving on Andrew I don't think they feel appreciated like you said I think that it's not only like this is just not only a generation I didn't grow up with but they ain't showing no love. Yeah. I mean, I think in the comments down below, you guys let us know what you think about these memes. Like, do you agree with them? Do you think they're funny? Do they have a point? Which one of these memes do you agree with most? And what, what can we do about this whole generational divide between the people? Where it's just like, man, every day- The Zoomers and the Boomers, right? Every There's day beef. on Facebook has its own echo chamber where the Boomers and Gen X people are going at the Gen Z and then the Gen Z is going to be on it's TikTok. It's almost like a TikTok comments versus like Yahoo comments. Yeah. That's why you just need to have uh, conversations in person, man. That's what I'm saying. Dude, I would like to see more in-person discourse from like high profile representative members. Let's do it. All right, guys, everybody, let us know in the comments down below. Please hit that like button. We are the Hot Pop Boys from serious to frivolous. We're talking about it all. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, we may do a video where we cover the Gen Z memes about the boomers. The Zoomers dissing the boomers. Until next time, we out. Peace.